Welcome to the Biopsychology Catch-Up series where we're looking at the structure and function of neurons. In this session we're going to be taking a look at the differences between the types of neuron and talking about how we'd answer a difference type question and we'll also be doing some other assessment practice on the structure and function of neurons. I'm going to start you off with a 60 second challenge. This is going to be question 12 in your worksheet. All you have to do is match the key terms on the left, action potential, axon, dendrite, etc., to their correct definitions on the right. So you're going to have one minute to fill this in. Let's see how you got on there with that 60 second challenge. So the correct answers are action potential is the electrical signal. Axon is the long slender fiber. A dendrite receives signals. Myelin sheath speeds up electrical impulse. Synaptic transmission is one neuron communicating with another. And cell body is the control center of a neuron. Hopefully you got all those correct. OK, what we're going to focus on now, then, is the differences between the types of neuron. Now, remember that all three neurons are named on the specification, motor, sensory and relay. Now, when you're thinking about answering differences questions, a good way to answer is to think about how the neurons are different in terms of their structure and or their function. So we're going to have a practice at a couple of these. Right, so in your worksheet, we're going to do question 13. And the question you're going to focus on is describe a difference between a sensory neuron and a relay neuron. In answering this question, what I'd like you to do is describe a difference in terms of their structure. So pause the video and have a go at this question. So I'm going to take you through the answer that I've got. Now, this isn't the only difference in terms of the structure, but it's the difference that I've chose to focus on. So I've got the sensory neuron has a myelin sheath to speed up electrical impulse, whereas the relay neuron usually does not. Now, you'll see there that I've highlighted the word whereas. When you're answering a difference question related to anything within A-level psychology, it's really important to include the word whereas. Now, you might have focused on something different there in terms of this answer. Maybe structurally you'd looked at potentially how the sensory neuron is pseudo-unipolar or could be pseudo-unipolar, whereas the relay neuron isn't. The next question that we're going to have a go at is going to be question 14 on your worksheet, and it's describe a difference between a sensory neuron and a motor neuron. In answering this question, I'd like you to think of a difference in terms of their function. So pause the video and have a go at this. Let's take a look then at potential answer. So I've got a sensory neuron transmits messages from the PNS into the CNS, whereas a motor neuron transmits transmits messages from the CNS into the PNS. So what I'm saying is the direction in terms of the transmission of messages is reversed there in those two types of neuron. And again, you might have a different difference there. Right, now we're going to take a look at two multiple choice questions, so MCQs. And we're going to put the answers for these questions into question 15 in your worksheet. So question one is complete the following sentence. 
Sensory neurons carry information, is it A, towards the brain, B, away from the brain, C, both to and from the brain, or D, around the brain? I'll give you 10 seconds thinking time. The correct answer hopefully you got was A, towards the brain, because remember they travel from the peripheral nervous system into the central nervous system. Next MCQ, complete the following sentence. Motor neurons carry information A, towards the brain, B, away from the brain, C, both to and from the brain, D, around the brain. 10 seconds thinking time. So for motor neurons, it's away from the brain. So B, because remember, motor neurons travel from the CNS into the PNS. Now, just in relation to these two MCQ questions, a couple of terms that might help you understand these answers. So motor neurons, we often describe as being efferent. So an efferent neuron, so efferent means conducting outwards. And we often describe sensory neurons as being afferents, which means conducting inwards. The final thing we're going to have a go at in this session is a quick true or false quiz. So there's space for you in your worksheet to write the answers here. This is going to be question 16. So five different statements. You have to just decide if each statement is true or false. So we'll start with our first one. Relay, sensory and motor neurons are named on the specification. Is that true or false? That one, remember, is true. And we spoke about the potential to get a question specifically on any of those neurons. Next question then, motor neurons do not have dendrites. Is that true or false? That one is false, because remember, neurons need dendrites so they can communicate with other neurons. Next statement, relay neurons are sometimes referred to as interneurons. Is that true or false? That one's true. Remember, we said that AQA referred to them as relay neurons, but in some resources, you may see a relay neuron referred to as an interneuron. Next statement. Sensory neurons transmit information from the environment. Is that true or false? That one, remember, is true. We spoke about sensory neurons transmitting information from the PNS, the peripheral nervous system, into the CNS, the central nervous system. Last one then. Relay neurons allow motor and sensory neurons to communicate. Is that true or false? That final one then is true. Well done for making it through the last session then on the structure and function of neurons, where we covered the structure and function of the sensory, relay and motor neurons. Don't forget to have a quick look at the exam gold video, which will include tips for the examination on these types of questions.